Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. We are tracking down the name of a young girl who magical swords talk to her or something. Something info edge blueprint blueprint. Don't fall behind, okay? This is post commentary again, cause I don't know. Record button. It's easy. It's it, it's it's a button with a red circle in it. Universally has meant record since the like streamline of designs of tape recorders. It may have actually become the symbol for record with reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Of which I used to own one, actually. I mean, it was an antique when I owned it as a kid, but it was fun. I and mean, it was cool to run, run around, play around with. So she's in the church. This stuff is a shame, by the way, because I really, the fine details of what I did, I, I'm not exactly sure of them. Now, again, uh, once you get a partial blueprint, you can make the, in as long as you know the ingredients, if you look them up online, you can make the item. You do have to get a partial blueprint. You can't set nothing as the blueprint. But every partial blueprint gives you the layout of the items. So like one goes one and two are assembled together, and then that's assembled to what you assemble from three and four. Like that's the that like flow chart is what you really need. That and it's all you really need, and you get it the minute you get a blueprint. So like I said, even a partial one. Now we are gonna make it to the Gladius Towers in this video, so. At least that's nice. Hope it all goes well. And then uh, I don't forget to record again for like 12 videos. So here we go. She'll give us the rest of the uh, the blueprint for a seven star sword. Because uh, at least w one of those seven star swords, the, or. Uh, and there are a bunch of them, and I actually um, make them all and get them all up to the highest level. Um, because every single one of them starts as a different sword and then goes through, like, level 1, level 2, so level 3. And then on the, the fourth time you combine something to it, it becomes something else. So yeah, sort of holy lightning. I mean, we've we've got all. Of, I, I don't know that I, I don't know that if we even make anything this this video. We're gonna go through completing the factory blueprints, which is, you know, I mean, you get a reward for 100%ing the factory stuff, but none of the weapons you make, um, are really kind of worth it. Uh, except for the seven star the seven star swords are interesting because they're unique. The, let's see, what else? Um, the odd jobber robot, the made Betty robot or whatever, path, is a rare item. You have to make it to complete the rare items. And there's a there's a badge, like a shield, that allows you to hide from weak enemies, and that's completely worth it. Like, absolutely worth it. So much of this game is grinding. Like I'm, I'm, I'm 84 videos or 82 videos in. I've played for about 30 hours. Um, by the time we get to like 110 or 115 videos in, maybe even 120, I'll have played for twice that long. And I know because I did a bunch of grinding post commentary like clips of just things for like the revelation chart again um grinding all of the seven star swords up to there now you you don't have to do that stuff i mean the the one we the one we get first is enough um the only one you actually have to the only sword i think you actually have to make out of the let's keep going the factory 
is Alexander, and you need that for a, uh, a bounty. And all this stuff is optional. You don't really... The bounties just get you to hunter's point-like things. I mean, it's not... You get some cool item drops from them. But if you play just like a vanilla version of this game, then, you know, you make the, the biggest... You make the strongest sword. Uh, you play through. You get to, like, the end area. You buy a bunch of really cool weapons. Like, you grind them up levels. Looks you combine like them all together to make like, the ultimate weapons for everybody. And then... Um, you just beat the game. If that were what I was, if that were what I was doing and what I did with, with, uh, the LPs I do of RPGs, then this would be a far shorter series. But because we're doing absolutely everything, which, don't even get me started, the, the, the monster bounty list, like, the, is such a nightmare. It's going to add 40 hours of grinding to this, to this file. Isn't there a better way to go? And it's crazy that I forgot to, um, record on every, like, every video that had cutscenes. Too long, Daytron will be on to us. Let's get this barrier out of the way. You're in a good mood. All thanks to Dr. Picacho. All right, so long, Mr. Hey. Kabbalah. That Picacho is a genius. Sure can't take him for granted. You're absolutely right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And by the way, let's reuse an audio file that it, we've just got stuck in the game. This is pretty old. Hmm. This place looks pretty shady. I'm looking forward to seeing those ruins, though. Huh? Look, Mr. Rogue. Hark. Whoa! A sword supposed to talk like that? There's a soul within that sword. You think? I speak of the valor of the Libra King. I have waited for you across the eternal ages. I believe that you may be the ones who can finally quell the turmoil in this cursed castle. I am the Libra King. I am the lord of this castle. O oh, brave and valiant travelers, do me the honor of listening to my request. A request? What is it? The tortured souls of my sons wander these two towers. They have continued their pointless quarrel over these many long years. Not even noticing as their bodies crumbled to dust. Please, help bring peace back to these two towers. W wait Okay, the Libra King sword, you can combine it with other swords to make it stronger. Take a look at that. But it doesn't result in a seven star sword. We need it as a plot line key item, essentially. 
The spirits. They're showing us the way? What's going on? Looks like the king's servants are guiding our way. Well then, what do you want to do, Jaster? Let's give it a shot. Let's I get going. I knew you'd say that. Ready, willing, and able. Same as always. Jaster, I hope you're ready. This time around, it's not going to be so easy. I know. It's me. Just as you suspected, they've managed to dupe the Libra King. We should just let him go for now, right? Yes. Might as well leave the dirty work to the dirty workers, don't you think? We'll pick up again once they're through finding them all. Yeah, because that's how smart bad guys do stuff. Alright, uh, the Gladius Towers have a weird format. You would think that it would you'd go up the left tower and you'd go through floors 1 through 7 or whatever. And... Um, but that's not... The, and I got stuck, by the way. This is me getting stuck because the, um, the characters wouldn't move. Um, yeah, look at this. So, uh, you would think that you'd go up floor one, two, three, but you won't. There's Wait, actually bridges be so? between the two towers. So what you'll do is go, like, floor one, two in the left tower, then three, three, four in the right tower, and then, like, five, six in the left tower, then seven, eight in the right tower. And it's not exactly like that, but it's close. And then it makes backtracking to find enemies in these towers impossible. Because you don't know what teleporter to go to to get to... It's so weird. It's just really weird. It also makes kind of following a walkthrough to find treasure chests and stuff ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Now, uh, once we've oh, opened these towers... There, a lot of the enemies will appear in other places, like the robot factory and the prison. So that does make it a little easier, actually, to find some of them. There are there are a few, um, like the the gold. I don't even remember what they're called, but they're like a gold version of the stump enemy. Uh, are far easier to find in the prison than they are in the towers. Which, by the way, I think it's funny because I put Jupus in because people were like, we want to see more Jupus. And now there are people in the comments who are just like, I don't like Jupus. And really it's really life. funny because I recorded this way ahead. So you're stuck with Jupus for a while. And Jupus is not as fun as Digo, I, I, in my opinion. I don't really care much it's for uh, Simon Steve or uh, Lilica as far as members in your party although uh, Simon has some really fun attacks some really goofy attacks that involve things like catching giant catfish but yeah as far as that really the the people who Simon and Lilica have really really great uh, party boosting attacks so those are reasonably important but Jigo has a really good one he gets away later but I mean my dream my I guess my dream party in this game would probably be uh, Lilica and um, Lilica and probably Simon. I'm not a big fan of Zegram. He, he does have a boost attack, but I don't like his other attacks. And Red Bolt is the enemy you're going to see all over the place here. It's the enemy you're going to you're going to get the uh, you're going to hit your max on the quickest. And they're worthless. They're not hard to beat up. They're everywhere.
And there will be some really fun things in treasure chests here. Uh, what the heck is going what, on? What I'm gonna do is what I always have. What I've what I've done is really focus on things like. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I actually had this listed, so I just went, I just ignored it. The, uh, what I'm gonna do is focus on unique items, uh, not unique items, uh, important revelation flow items, we're doing a favor for and us. weapons and equipment, because those things are harder to find. Nobody, we don't need, you know, chests with five Tizane chest fruit in them. What we need are chests with dark music boxes. And I do like Faded Passion. Faded Passion is so overpowered when you get it up to level 3. It's ridiculous. You'll be one-shotting enemies in the last dungeon of the game. So, yeah. Uh, buckle in. The, the Gladius Towers are going to last a really long time. Because we have to climb them twice. I mean, clearly, there's a boss at the top of one, there's a boss at the top of the other. The bosses are very easy. But the walk up to them, not so easy. Can we get all the way to the top? We can, and we're gonna do it twice, because uh twice. It's gonna be a giant pain in the butt. But say la vie. I feel like I've run enough for a whole lifetime! Hey, can we rest for a bit? Yeah, and what you'll find is uh, that some of these levels have paths that overlap one another. And things it becomes like I said it's a very convoluted map it's this is easily the biggest um I take that back it's the, it's the biggest pain in the butt dungeon in the main game that's how you get it done. uh there the after game dungeons are oh, painful the first one's not so bad the second one is ridiculous and the fact that you have to go through them like multiple times Also, uh, these levels are not helped at all by the fact... Oh, meanwhile. I did it, Dad! Steve and I unlocked the barrier! Ah, uh, that's great to hear. You've certainly become quite the adventurer, haven't you? Yup, and I'm not gonna give up now! Hmm? What's the matter, Dad? Oh, it's... it's nothing. Just be careful out there. Ah, uh, the, the, these dungeons are not helped at all by the fact that the elevator cutscene is so long. And really boring. Dad, I've learned so much traveling with Steve. I realized that this galaxy is full of both good people and bad people. Is that so? But everyone on the ship is good, right? Sure. They're all super good people. I can tell. But pirates are actually bad guys, aren't they? Mark, in this world of ours, you can never take anything at face value. You must always look at its true nature deep within. Huh? I don't really get it. That's all right. One day, you'll understand. All right, when we come back, uh, more of this. Uh, and in live commentary, by the way. Uh, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
more Gladius Towers. And again, I'm glad I don't have to post commentary any more of this, because this dungeon is really confusing. Alright, see you for the next video. You guys take care. Bye, everybody.